could you introduce yourself? I'm a general dentist, so I see a variety of conditions and, and I'm the first line of treatment. Yeah. So could you share what's a typical day like in the life of a dentist in Singapore? Okay, so I guess um, for most dentists, you know, you come into the clinic and then you take a look at the list first. Uh, you, you kind of mentally prepare yourself for uh, the patients that you have ahead of you because uh, certain times there are some procedures that you need to kind of mentally prepare yourself for. Um, for some patients even, you have to ensure all, all the prosthesis, crowns, dentures or whatnot are in the clinic or like if you're going to do any treatments that the necessary equipment is there that's how you start off and then once that's done then we go straight into uh, seeing our first patients of the day yeah so typically how long is one shift for me currently it's usually around seven six six to nine hours i would say yeah so it really really depends again based on the day itself some people do longer shifts some people do shorter shifts yeah do you feel like you have work-life balance I, I would say so. I would say uh, to an extent. I, I work odd hours in terms of I work a lot of nights, I work weekends. Um, so, but for me, that works for my schedule and, and uh, so that's okay for me. So I think there's work-life balance in terms of the fact that you can choose when you want to be scheduled to come into clinics and um, you can make that suit your lifestyle needs. Um, but... <sighs> I, I, yeah, I would say generally the work-life balance is pretty okay, but if you're not keen on working hours such as like public holidays or weekends or nights, then it may be a bit tough. Thank you for sharing about a typical day. So why do you choose to be a dentist in the first place? Uh, yeah, so that's one of the questions they'll ask you at the interview. <laughs> but um, I think... I suppose uh, similar to what I answered back then um, at that point I wanted to be in healthcare and I think between medicine and dentistry it's dentistry that chose me <laughs> What's the most enjoyable part about being a dentist? For me personally it's because I prioritise making sure dentistry is um, painless or rather as painless as pos possible so it's really when you get those patients who come in pretty fearful and, and you know they leave telling you that it's the first time that you have given them a, a painless injection or it's the first time that they have been so comfortable yeah I, I, I suppose that's one of the more uh, enjoyable moments. Do you think you need any specific aptitude or skills to succeed in dentistry in your opinion? I suppose if with regards to technical skills, um, it will come easier to some lah because um, the technical skills portion, some people will catch it a lot faster and they will be a lot more adept at, at, at it without even trying um, and some will take a little bit longer so that portion to be frank uh, hard to tell until you're doing it because a lot of people like to say oh they you know like they do they play a lot of musical instruments and and, and whatnot but um i think it will really depend on on when you are uh, picking up all the skills then you will realize actually whether or not you have a knack for it um but other than that i actually think something that's even more important is um, the communication aspect because I think a lot of people don't realize, but actually dentistry, I would say the majority of it is actually communicating because most of the time you have to communicate to your patients, you know, what's the problem, what's the solution. Uh, you have to communicate with the different kind of patients. You have to get through to them, uh, even if they're fearful. So so I would say more than um, having uh, the talent for, for it, you actually have to have pretty good uh, communication skills or rather work on or at least work on on getting better communication skills yeah do you have any memorable or interesting experiences from dental school or dental practice that you can share i mean dental school is pretty memorable <laughs> in itself uh, i don't and there's no particular interesting experience a lot of um a lot of things will happen to you in dental school. Yeah, that's all I can say. There, there are a lot, a lot of things that can happen, and um, uh, and you never expect any of them. Yeah, and that's why dental school is pretty tough. I would say tough, but was it fun as well? Fun, ah. Uh, I don't think fun would be the first word people would use to describe dental school. Lah. But I, I, for me, 
personally I did enjoy uh, picking up the, the, the skills of dentistry itself like to be very honest I did enjoy that uh, I know a lot of my peers actually hated uh, what we call clinics or, or lab work at that time but, but honestly I enjoyed that because I thought I thought it was quite fun because to 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 new skills, you know, fillings, extractions, you know, uh, cutting crowns and all that. So that I I thought that was pretty fun, but it comes with its own set of stresses, I suppose. Do you have any mentors that helped you through your career or that you look up to? Well, I mean, in dentistry, you're constantly learning. I mean, even in dental school, you know, uh, one assessor can do things a, a certain way and then another one can do it uh, a different way so different people do things differently and I think you would be as in it's a privilege to be able to learn something from all of them To wrap this up do you have any advice for aspiring dental students? I would say that you know you be sure that this is what you want to get into and um, as sure as you can be lah because to be honest I myself you know I don't think you know the actual reality of being uh, a dentist until you are actually a dentist so um, you know a, a bit tough there but I think advice dental school is going to be tough but uh, surround yourself with good friends they will ha- definitely help yourself help you get through the dental school and uh, you really really must have the determination and perseverance for it lah because uh, it's not Dental school is just the beginning, yeah. You will still be learning constantly even after you graduate and even after seeing patients for many years. Are there any internships that one can do to get a feel of what dentistry is like before they apply for dental school? Uh, to get internships, I yeah, I suppose you can and in, and in, immerse yourself in the environment. There are dentists who allow you to be uh, uh to observe or, or for a day or you know you can choose to be a, a dental assistant. Do you think that's a good way to get a feel of what it's truly like? I guess it will help you en- understand the environment a little bit more. But, I mean, I, I, I myself did those internships, but I would say that it's very, very different from being the dentist because ultimately, being a dentist is very procedural based and if you are the one observing, so it's you, you can get an idea of what we do, but it's very different from the feeling of doing it itself. So... I am not sure if I can give a... I mean, perhaps someone else might have a better answer, but I'm, I'm not sure if I can give a good answer as to what would best prepare you for the reality of being a dentist. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to have this interview with me. I hope people get to see the reality about being a dentist and hopefully it will help aspiring dental students as well. Do like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!